What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? Here I am at Evergreen Memorial Park in Columbus, Georgia. And never quite seen a cemetery with a playground before. And that's really cool because a lot of families come out to cemeteries and bring their kids. Kids, you know, little ones, they get a little bored, a little tired. Well, not tired, bored of being at cemeteries. Not, they, don't, they don't grasp where they are, the heaviness of it. So it's really cool. Beautiful pond behind me here. Some sort of... I'm not sure what that is. What kind of bird that is. I'm here at the gravesite of Kim Porter. Famous model, actress, entrepreneur. I'm going to talk a little bit about Kim Porter. There's her mother right here. And um, I'll show you where her funeral was held. So here's her grave right here. And it reads, Kimberly Antoinette Goodwin Porter, December 15th, 1970 to November 15th, 2018. Once upon a time where lived a black goddess, queen, mother, best friend, one of the greatest beings God has ever created. We love you and we miss you forever. Her mother is here beside her, Sarah Lee Porter. March 8th, 1947 to April 24th, 2014. Phenomenal woman she is. Her love is kind. It is that love what makes her so divine. Forever loved, never forgotten, Sarah Lee Porter, Mima. Kim Porter was from Columbus. <clears throat> Kim Porter. Excuse me. Looks like some sort of vase has fallen over. I'm going to pick this up. Put it here. So that a lot of trees and branches falling around here. Fresh flowers. I imagine these are here every day probably. Or replaced every few days for Kim and her mother. So Kim began modeling as a teenager. She was a debutante. She graduated from Columbus High School. Then she moved to Atlanta to further her modeling career. She was in various movies and TV shows like The Brothers, Wicked Wicked Games, Single Ladies, Mom I Want to Sing. She was in a lot of music videos. She worked as a receptionist at Uptown Records. She was hired by the founder, Andre Harrell. She was one of the founders of Three Brown Girls, which was a lifestyle planning company in Atlanta with two college friends. They helped start Janelle Monae's music career. They invited her to an open mic and introduced her to industry contacts. Janelle Monet said she was forever indebted to Kim Porter. Now as for her personal life, she had a son with Albie Shore, singer-songwriter, R&B artist in Quincy. Then from 1994 to 2007, she had an on-and-off relationship with Sean P. Diddy Combs. They had a son and twin daughters. Stuff about P. Diddy, right now he's very um, under fire, I would say. There's a lot about P. Diddy in the press and a lot to do with um, allegations about him and some allegations. People have a lot of theories about Kim Porter's death. I'm here to show her grave and her funeral, which was held here at Cascade Hills Church, so about five miles north of here. I've been there, I'm showing you right now what it looks like.
so for her death she died on November 15 2018 in Toluca Lake after experiencing flu-like symptoms her cause of death was deferred on her death certificate and an autopsy was completed on November 16th then early in the new year of 2019 I think it was January 25th the LA County Coroner's Office confirmed that her death was the result of lobar pneumonia I know that after they separated for the final time, because they had an on and off relationship, her and P. Diddy, Kim and P. Diddy, in 2007, she moved away from the spotlight to devote herself to raising her children in a quieter space. Apparently, her last words to Puffy, P. Diddy at least, were, Puffy, take care of my babies. And when he got the news, he was devastated, but immediately he said he jumped into quote unquote mummy mode to take care of their kids. Leave. There's a shot of P. Diddy after the funeral, sitting on that bench there, right by her grave. That was my short visit to the grave of Kim Porter and her mother, Mima. Uh, I was here at Columbus doing a few other things and I thought for sure, because I knew she was from here, that I wanted to do this. Thanks to uh, Nerd Locations, my buddy Rayan, who was talking to me about this grave. And the importance of visiting Kim Porter it was quite a prominent figure and very, very, very popular. Extremely beautiful, extremely intelligent. and. Uh, a mom, a mom who's gonna inspire kids, for sure. Rest in peace, Kim Porter. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love you all. Peace out.